Hello everyone, I'm back today with a process video. Today's video is for Cherry Challenges. That is a video series that I do with Jessica, Nicole, and Natalie. You will find their videos linked in the description box. Here is a sketch I picked out to use for my layout, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to come up with something better. <laughs> well, I think with regard to story and photo, I come up with something better. So for this month, we usually choose someone else's challenge, right, in uh, a Cherry on Top's message board. For this month, we are going to host our own challenge. I will link our challenge up in the description box. We are calling it the Positively Clossum Challenge. And it's all about animals. So you can create a project about your favorite animal, you can create a project about a pet, or you can create a project that is inspired or embellished by animals. Um, and we are giving away a $5 gift certificate to a cherry on top. I will link the challenge in the description box because you are all welcome to come over to the message board and play along with our challenge. So for the challenge today, for my products, um, I am using this kit that I pulled together. This would technically be like a, I called it a spring, spring kit. And um, I did end up using it a little bit, but I kept it in Pete. Pete is my project cart. And that is where I pull, um, together a smaller amount of product and then use that product throughout the month and I unload and load Pete up on the first of the month it's like my favorite day so I kept this kit in because I wanted to use it more I was still inspired by it and initially I was going to use the sketch that I showed you but then as I was going through the papers I found this paper from Sparkle City which did all the things and I adored it. So we are going to let this pattern paper do the work for us and we're going to create a layout around this paper because it works for my story, it works um, color wise. I've kind of been hoarding this pattern paper because I really loved it and I really wanted to use it but I was just kind of waiting for that right photo. So today is the day. So I have a photo here of me and my puppy <laughs> Fitz. He's been around this YouTube channel before. Most of you know him. We're gonna scrapbook this cute photo of he and I today. I, as I was going through my papers, I set aside a so, um, the scraps. So I'm going to use scrap paper to add lots of messy layers behind my photo. I started with that teal paper from the 6x8 journaling pad and I'm going to now just take scrap papers and I love to do this. This is like my favorite thing is to take partial pieces of scrap paper and just layer them up behind my photo. So you see we have got some little um, thin bands we're going to use those the trick is is that your first layer and your last layer needs to go all the way around your photo so your first layer needs to go all the way around your photo so you have a consistent mat and then you add all the scrap paper behind in all different ways and you can cut them down I cut some of mine down but you don't have to cut them down if you really want it to be very very like it's just a pile of scraps and then the last layer I make sure goes all the way around all the scraps and then things will look a little more contained um, not that there's anything wrong when they look really messy too that's totally fine um, that's just a me thing. See, I kind of, um, so I'm just trimming off a little bit, but you can see here, I'm just taking those scraps, putting them behind my photo, um, and then coming back. So what I'm noticing here is, 
I have all this color across the bottom of the page, right? So we've got the red and the pink and the purple and the teal and the yellow. And I wanna make sure that none of those colors look out of place. So I'm also making sure that those colors are also in my photo mats. And then when I do my embellishment clusters, we're gonna make sure that those same colors are in the embellishment clusters. And what I did was when I took the branding strip off the bottom of that page, I popped it up to the top <laughs> because it works perfectly for what we're going to talk about today. So you can see here, I have all the colors from the buildings in my mats, except for that pesky red. So I'm going to add this little brick pattern to the back of my photo. You don't need to add a lot, but I know that uh, that red is in the bottom building, so we wanna make sure it comes in in the other areas of our layout. So this kit I'm working with today is primarily based off Chamel's Sparkle City collection. And I love this line, love it so much. And I know Reason to Smile is gonna be hitting my craft room super soon. So I want to make sure, um, I wanna use um, up some of my Schmel stash. I know shock horror, but we're gonna try. And so I made this kit clear back in April or May. I guess I must've made it in April. And I did use it for a couple projects. Um, and then it was time for new kits. Uh, but I still wanna work with this one, so we're just gonna keep it out, keep it together, and keep working with it. You will notice that, um, oh, I was talking about that, so I separated out the scraps, right? Because what I did was, after I created this layout, I pulled out my memory planner, and I did a couple of weeks in my memory planner using these supplies too. That is something I have really been trying hard to kind of train myself to do because memory planner spreads come together super quick and easy. And if I've already got supplies out and I've already got scraps of paper out, then we need to be using that, right? So that's what I did. I went through the sticker book. So primarily almost, I'm going to say, no, almost all of my embellishments came from the sticker book because I have three of them. One of them I didn't open until I started this kit. So I have loads and loads and loads of the Sparkle City stickers. I loved the sticker book and they weren't clear stickers. None of them are, which is probably part of the reason why I loved the Sparkle City sticker book so, so, so much. Um, so what I did was I went through the Sparkle City sticker book. You can see I added lots of stickers to my little mini Tim Holtz trimmer there. We're going to use, I think, everything but that lovely day sticker. We don't use that one. Um, and then I am going uh, to add cars to that bottom piece. So that was sort of my plan all along. When I... This layout is going to be all about how much Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy loves, loves, loves a car ride. And I know I want to write about that. So I took one of the lined journal papers from the six by eight paper pad and I made a little journaling box. I thought that it needed something. It needed a color behind it. It was kind of blending in with the cloudy background more than I would like. So I'm going to mat it with this lawn fawn flat paper. Once I had the journaling box down, it was time to add my title. I'm going to do a mixed font. So I pulled out one, two, three, four, five different letter stickers. And most of them, are they all pink fresh? They're all pink fresh letter stickers. The alphabet stickers, those are sort of my favorites right now. I really, really love them and they stick really nice. That's the best part when a sticker sticks. Uh, so I'm gonna go through all these different Pink Fresh Studio letter stickers and do a mixed font title that says, 
did someone say car ride because this little guy loves car rides he adores them he is a good little car rider he never gets car sick i mean i've, I've driven him four or five six hours from home he doesn't get car sick <laughs> He is a super good car rider. He loves to look out the windows. He's just, he's lovely. Um, so that is what our layout is going to be about today. How much this little pup loves car rides. And now you understand why that gorgeous pattern paper from Sparkle City was absolutely perfect why the little cars across the top is absolutely perfect why all the car stickers that I could fit across the bottom of that page is getting fit across the bottom of the page like perfect love it love 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 it it's like someone from 2016 knew that eight years later I was going to have the perfect photo for this page right for this paper right <laughs> once I have sticker placement down once I have all the stickers in place where I want them. I turned off my camera. Why you ask? Because none of the stickers in the sticker book stick. Um, yeah, these are not sticky stickers. These are must glue down with wet glue stickers. So <laughs> after I get them all in place, I turned off the camera. I got out my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and I had to stick down every single one of these stickers into place because these stickers, they don't stick. <laughs> they never have. They have not from the get-go. They've never stuck. So I knew that even though I was using tons of stickers and making all these beautiful little clusters, I was going to have to come in, literally pick up because the stickers aren't sticking. Like they, they're not sticking. They're like die cuts with tacky stuff on the back. I don't know. They don't stick at all. So I keep kind of pushing them down, you know, because they're coming up, but really, really they're not going to stick. So I turned off the camera, went through all of these stickers, glued them all down with wet glue. And you'll see here I had those um, little balloons up at the top. Now, right now everything is glued down. I glued it all down for you off camera. Uh, but I want nice long trails for my balloons because I want them to kind of go behind the tag and all all of that area there so just design principles if you take a peek and look I made sure that every one of the colors that appears in that bottom border of my page is now at least in one other spot on my layout and I'm sorry for my fuzzy hat but it can't be helped when you're doodling and the last little bit we're gonna do to this layout is just add some um, cord into my tag because I don't like naked tags. So down in the description box, you will find the link to Natalie's layout, Jessica's layout, Nicole's layout, my layout, You'll find a link to the challenge if you want to come and play along. Um, I'm not going to promise you'll find any products in the description box because this is all stash. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's just no way most of it, any of it, is really in stock anywhere. So, um, but this was a fun stash and I had so much fun creating this layout. I will talk to you all again very soon. Bye.